For the last three years, the Herschel Space Observatory has been orbiting the Sun. It's one and a half million kilometres from Earth. Its massive mirror and super chilled components have focused on the universe's cool regions of gas and dust. Its discoveries have been both visually and scientifically breathtaking. The best ones I can think of is the discovery of a hole inside a nebula, a mysterious patch that challenged ideas about the way stars form. Uh, Herschel's also been there studying the interior of many of the clouds of gas and dust in space where we see solar systems and stars uh, being born, coming into being. So those kinds of achievements have really added a lot to our knowledge of the way the universe works. Herschel's clocked up more than 22,000 hours of observations, more than anticipated. But now the $1.4 billion telescope's days are numbered. When Herschel was launched, it had more than 2,000 litres of liquid helium on board. To see cold, distant objects, the telescope also needed to be cold, very cold. So the helium was used to chill it down to minus 271 degrees Celsius. The trouble is, that helium has been slowly evaporating. And as the scientists predicted, it's now about to run out. The telescope isn't designed to operate at a warmer temperature, so refuelling it isn't a viable option. The spacecraft is inaccessible, it's, it's very, very far away, it's completely out, it's not in orbit around the Earth, it's in orbit around the Sun, it's like a small planet that goes uh, together with the Earth around the Sun, and it is at a million and a half kilometres away. Drained of its helium, Herschel will stay suspended in its orbit for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Work is progressing on its replacement, the James Webb Telescope, due to be launched in 2018. Until then, scientists have vast amounts of data from the Herschel mission still to analyse. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.